Someone asked me how to compare countries. Uh, you asked the right person. I'm exactly trained in comparative politics. So this, I think, is the best place to start. So this is a free collection of databases made by uh, World Bank. It's super user friendly. If you're not experienced in data work, this is a really good place to start. Just go to databank.worldbank.org. And you can see a lot of databases listed here. It doesn't matter which one you click, it will bring you to the same interface. So don't be intimidated by this interface. It's really easy to use. Firstly, let's only look at the uh, left-hand side of the screen. So we first choose a database. When you click database, it gives you a long list of different databases. Uh, I only ever use World Development Indicators, but there are also uh, many other data sets you can choose from, and their names are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, jobs, African Development Indicators, uh, I don't know, gender statistics. It depends on what your interests are, but I think World Development Indicators already have a lot of information that you can play with. And the second day, you choose countries. Uh, let's say Argentina, maybe, uh, and uh, Brazil. When you choose countries to compare, try to choose countries that are similar in some way. Say if you compare India and, uh, I don't know, Luxembourg, uh, there are just too many confounding variables. I don't think it will help too much. One of the reasons we're so sure that the Soviet system didn't work is because uh, in West and East Germany, North and South Koreas. Of course, there are still a lot of variables that make these pairs of countries different and threaten our conclusion, but we can have a relatively high confidence that the Soviet system sucked. Because these pairs of countries are similar enough uh, culturally and uh, historically. And that's also why a lot of medical researchers collect data from siblings or even uh, identical twins. This way they can control the effects of genetics and uh, maybe a home environment. But the general rule of thumb is that you don't want to claim causal relationship just by looking at this data. Finding causal relationships would require years of training and research. What you can do is to have a general feel about these countries and equip yourself with reliable facts. Okay, so after choosing the countries, we can scroll down and choose the series. These are basically the variables that we compare the countries with. There are so many variables you can choose from. I don't even know what most of them mean, but you know, it depends on your interests. You can browse these variables or you can uh, enter keywords to search for something that you are interested in. Let's say um, uh, we can search tax. Now it will give you a bunch of variables that are related to taxes. Uh, let's say, let's find something easier to understand. Let's say um, tax revenue as a percentage of GDP. And then after we have the variable, now let's choose, you can choose more than one variable, of course. And next, you choose a time period. Right? You can choose a uh, recent 20 years, recent 15 years, or you can select a specific years. And let's just do 15 years. And then you go to the right hand side of the screen and click apply changes. Okay, now the data is on the right-hand side. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't display both countries at the same time. So you can choose if you want to see uh, Brazil or Argentina. And uh, if you click chart, it will give you a graph of the data you just chose. And again, unfortunately, they don't display two curves in the same graph. But what you can do is that you can download the data and make the graph on some other software. Let's say we download the data as an Excel file. Okay, it's here. 
well, I don't have Excel because I don't want to pay for the subscription, but we can use Google Sheets. So let's open Google Sheets and click a blank uh, spreadsheet and then click File and Import. Upload and then we browse and then we import the file we just downloaded. Of course, this doesn't look very impressive because I only chose one variable and two countries. If you're more ambitious, you can certainly download a much bigger uh, data set. So if I want to uh, make a graph, uh, of course, one thing to do is that I want, to, I want the country names to be next to the numbers because we don't really need these few uh, columns. Right click and delete. Okay, now I have country names and all the data points. Right, but I don't really like the the format of the year. So the format of the year is 2010 and then a bracket YR2010. I don't really need so many things, so I just changed it to 2010 and change this to 2000 uh, 2011. Right. Once you have two cells, you can just select them and drag the little dot at the uh, bottom right corner all the way to the right. Okay, because once you have two cells, um, Google Sheets will know what you want to do for the rest. So all the cells turn into pure numbers. So all we need to do is to select all these cells with numbers and country names and say we can insert a chart. Ta-da! So, uh, well, we, we should probably change the title of the graph. Argentina and the Brazil's tax as percentage of GDP. Of course, we can't make any conclusions based on this simple graph. This is just information, right? You can have a rough idea of how these two countries compare in terms of their uh, tax revenue as percentage of GDP. But exactly what can you learn from this? That's up to you. That also depends on what other knowledge you want to introduce into the discussion. This World Bank website is just one of the many free uh, data sets around. Uh, personally, I think it's the most user-friendly one, but there are a lot of data sets you can explore if you, are, uh, if you have the patience. Data is such a wonderful thing. Of course, it's a pain in the ass to deal with, but it's also enlightening. This is why I keep telling people that uh, you shouldn't trust uh, social scientists that are too ancient. You know, whether it's Adam Smith or Karl Marx or, um, you know, James Madison, I'm sure they were all brilliant. They were all geniuses, sure. But they didn't have this. They didn't accumulate so many facts, especially comparable quantitative facts. They had their best educated guesses about the world, but they were still just guesses. They were not backed up by data. Any mediocre physics teacher today probably knows more about the universe than Isaac Newton did. That's just the power of data. Some people are still quoting Plato to prove their points about political systems. That dude didn't even know what paper was. You're taking his word about the philosophy king? Nah. Anyway, have fun with this. That's how you compare countries.